Hello and good morning and welcome back to my channel. It is day one of week four and I wanted to jump on here and just tell you guys that I woke up with a sore throat and achy body so I will be not, I will be not, I will not be starting with a workout this morning. So I'm just going to get up, make some tea, get ready for work and then if I feel better this evening, sometimes when I don't feel good, it's worse in the morning, so if I feel better, I'll work out this evening. But for the most part, I'm starting week one, not feeling good. Week one, oh my gosh, day one of week four, not feeling good. See, I don't even know what I'm saying. Um, yeah, so let, we'll see how it goes this week. <laughs> All right, guys, first meal. When you're feeling under the weather and don't have the energy to make anything, you can order an unwitched sandwich from Jimmy John. So I got a tuna wrapped in lettuce. So that's what I'm gonna be eating today for lunch. Probably won't eat the whole thing because I really don't have much of an appetite. But if I don't finish it, I'll finish it for dinner. My next video, I'm actually gonna be doing a Green Chef review. However, I got my box today, so I'm gonna go ahead and be unboxing it, and I'm going to cook the first meal tonight, so you guys can see, but we will have a full review next All week. All right, so today we're gonna to be cooking up spiced tilapia with avocado lime cream sauce. This looks really good. So it's, obviously, you probably know what tilapia is. It's fish. And then this is butternut squash with some grilled veggies. And then this is the cream sauce to put on top. This one is 740 calories per serving. It's probably the cream sauce that is the high calories. And um, it is 20 net carbs per, per serving. Now, I have decided over the course of the last two weeks, if you've been following my channel, to do OMAD. And so I went from intermittent fasting to eating two meals a day, and now I'm down to one meal a day. And so the fact that I only get 20 grams of carbs, that works out perfect because this will be the only meal I will be eating today. All right, so here's my plate, you guys. So let me just show you, that is a lot of food. Like when I was first making, I thought, how is this enough for two people? But let me just tell you, I'm barely gonna be able to finish this. So you can't see my butternut squash because it's kind of hiding under the veggies, but as you can see, we got the tilapia with the sauce, the nuts, the butternut squash, and the onion and bell pepper mixture. This looks really good. I'm so excited to try it. So I'm gonna go sit down at the table and you guys can see my reaction as I put this food in my mouth. All right, guys, here goes nothing. This looks really good. Um, let me just turn down my camera. There you go. So I'm one of those that likes to like get a bite of everything all together. So I'm gonna get a bell pepper, a red onion, and then I've got a um, butternut squash under there. I'll get one more and then add some fish. Let's see what we got. I think the sauce alone is gonna make me happy. Okay, let's see. Starting with the fish. Mm -hmm. So, what I would say about the tilapia, mm, just in general, this food has a lot of flavor. Like, I feel like I'm a good cook and I know how to season food, but the seasonings that come with it really just make these meals, okay? So the tilapia um, is always hit and miss with fish because sometimes tilapia can be super fishy, but this isn't, you can tell like this is quality fish. Like they're not just sending you like low grade fish. Like this is really, really good. All right, guys. So <clears throat> it is day five of week four and I finally feel better. So I am actually, <clears throat> I do have a little bit of a scratchy throat, but I did not barely eat it all this week. It did not work out. I literally would work, go to bed, get up, work, go to bed. And it was just a really, really tough one. So Today, my husband and I are gonna head down to Temecula Wine Country and we're gonna do some wine tasting. We've been wanting to do that forever. And funny, last week we went to a museum and had lunch at this fancy restaurant. So kind of doing something very similar today. <clears throat> so I'm doing the same thing. I'm gonna do OMAD today. Um, but I thought I'd show you guys some clips of this winery. So if you're ever interested in going to Temecula, 
that's what's great about my videos, let me just say, is that um, you get clips of some great places to go while you're watching me work on my way and work out. So <clears throat> that's it for today, guys. Hopefully, I'll be able to start working out again. Tomorrow's going to be raining, so... Um, you know what? I think I'll get up in the morning and do my regular <clears throat> workout. Um, the 20 minute like V shred workout tomorrow and Monday. Those are usually the days I rest, but because I haven't worked out at all, I'm going to do that. So I will see you tomorrow when I work out and then I will show you any exciting meals that I have over the next couple of days and then we'll wrap up this video. All right, guys. So this is the winery down in Temecula. It's called Europa Village. Um, it had really great reviews online and the reason I chose it is because they actually have a restaurant. I wanted somewhere where we could wine taste and then we can have a dinner. Of morning it is the end of week four and I thought I would just kind of jump up jump on here and just end the video so as you guys obviously saw this week was a little bit shorter I did that on purpose one because I was sick and two because I feel like these videos were getting a little long and I think the most important thing is that I'm showing you guys some of the things I'm eating and then I'm weighing in at the end of the week so you can see the results so I'm sure it helped that I was sick but I weighed in at 159.8 and when I started the week, if you guys remember, it was 163.1. So a total loss of 3.2 pounds. So um, a lot of that had to do with the fact that I was sick. I really wasn't eating a lot, but I also believe too that it was <clears throat> that I changed to OMAD. So I've been just eating one meal a day and so that's been helping. So. Um, I'm going to be getting ready for work right now and starting week five, which is going to be focused on a green chef review, as you guys just saw in one of the meals that I made for this week. Um, I finished off the week day seven with um, my first green fresh meal, as you guys saw. But this week I'll be doing, um, I won't really be showing you guys what I'm eating. Well, technically I am because I'm going to be eating green chef, but I'm not eating that all the time. So. I'll show you guys clips of some other stuff, but it's mostly just gonna be a Green Chef review for week five, and then I'll weigh in at the end. So um, thank you so much for watching. If you made it this far in the video, thank you. I know my videos have been long. Um, this one obviously isn't as long, so I definitely appreciate it. And um, I got to have fun, as you guys saw. I went to a winery and I ate good food. Now, it was my only meal of the day and I was starving by the time I ate, but it was worth it because ultimately, the reason I'm looking into OMAD is because I'm seeing other YouTubers are doing it and it's working for them and they're losing weight and they're still able to eat what they want. Um, and so there you have it. So I'm going to try it out and see how it works for me. I'm even thinking about taking a microbiome test, which um, tests your blood and tells you what foods to stay away from, what your body reacts to. So I'm actually thinking about taking that. Um, if I do, I will let you guys know um, how that goes and then I will definitely be obviously switching my diet according to that. So again, thank you so much for coming and appreciate all of you and I'll see you in my next video. Bye. <laughs>